Well guys, you join me back at the same lake I was at last time I was fishing. I just couldn't wait to get back down after catching that scaly one. So it's only a few days after my last session. I'm back in the spot where I finished, in the swim where I finished that day session. And an hour into it, I'm off the mark with this 18 pounds, two ounce banger. Beautiful big shoulders on this one dark grey and cream colours, absolutely brilliant, exactly why I come carp fishing. I'm totally blown away, totally made up with this one. I've done no filming yet, after I slip this one back and we'll talk to you about what I'm doing, show you around camp for this evening. But what a way to start, less than an hour's fishing and I've got this one. Absolutely magic. Just show you the other side. <sighs> There she is. What a beauty. Heavy. Let's slip this one back and then talk to you about what I'm doing. Excellent. Yes, 18 pounds. That's the uh, second biggest fish um, I've caught in a very long time. And I happen to be very near the swim where I caught that 20 pounder not so very long ago. <sighs> I'm so buzzing about catching that big one. Uh, an 18 pounder just an hour into my session. Absolutely brilliant. Look, my glasses are all steamed up. Reason being the heavens have uh, just opened and it's, and it's really coming down out there just as I was about to redo that rod. I do want to get that rod back out just ASAP because obviously there's always the chance of another fish. God, look, I can barely see you. Um, I'm using my um, PVA bag rigs um, for uh, for that fish. Anyway, that's what was caught on one of my PVA bag rigs. So as you can see, it's one of my uh, favoured snowman presentations. Size 7 Fang X micro barbed, some um, braid hook link in 15 pounds, which comes all the way to an avid PVA bag stem and that is the bit that attaches to my main line. Um, you can see as I poke that up through the top this little loop here at the top um, that's what I pass my uh, loop in my main line through and literally just kind of loop the loop um, these things on. Um, that's the one that caught the fish. I have checked the hook point and it is turned over of course so um, that rig's gonna have to go um, but it did the business didn't it. Um, let me show you what a finished PVA bag looks like ready to go out there it's one of these little parcels of goodness as you can see here there's the top of the PVA bag stem that you've just seen out of the bag but that's how it looks when it's all packed in the bag try to keep them as neat as possible I'm no expert but uh, definitely it works sometimes because it just caught me that fish what about uh, brilliant just gonna wait for this rain to ease ever so slightly and then cast this back out to the spot all right, well, it's still raining, albeit not quite so heavily. So I've got to quite quickly get this PVA bag uh, hooked up or tied up, ready uh, ready for casting out. So uh, here's my main line. I've got a figure eight loop knot with a large loop, large enough for me to do this, which is uh, thread on the rig, and that's ready to cast. Better get it done before the rain melts it.
Right, well, time to show you around before it's too dark or too wet, um, either way. Here's a rod pod behind me, two rods. Um, they're both right next to each other rather than leaving a space. Because I've got one fishing off to the, uh, to the right hand side there. And I've got one fishing um, straight out to those pads that you can see in the background there, just to the edge of those pads. Um, that's the one that did me the bite um, on the PVA bag um, for that lovely 18 pounds, two ounce mirror. What a brute. Um, that's the one that did the bite. Um, the one to the right hand side is in close, um, just off to some uh, uh, lilies, a little, a little bed of lilies there. Um, and that one's on my um, more traditional snowman rig um, with the little mesh PVA bag, just masking the hook point for the cast. Um, so nothing revolutionary in terms of tactics, but at least you can see where I'm fishing. Brilliant to be out here. It's a Friday evening and uh, it's been a long week at work and it's great to be on the bank and to be off the mark so soon. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, let me show you around behind me. Here is the uh, brolly. That's the uh, fox super brolly compact that i use um not that i'm uh, not that i'm paid or sponsored or anything like that i'm a purely an amateur as i'm sure you can tell um but yeah that's what i use keeps the rain off me anyway i've got the net stood up there drying out in the background you can see and here's the swim there's a uh, one spot out here by these reeds and then if i come around the corner here here's the little set of pads that I'm fishing up to with my um, with my right hand rod. Um, it's getting on for 6 p.m. now, so uh, I uh, I need to make sure everything's sorted, ready before it gets dark. Um, but yeah, it's been a hectic start, but a really enjoyable one. Let's hope it continues. It's about time I got properly ready for the uh, for the night ahead. I'm here for the night. Um, I've got my shelter set up and my bed in there. But in terms of the fishing fishing situation, sorry, um, I need to make sure I'm ready. I'm gutted to say I just lost a fish. Um, I got it right in close, and then it kited right into into that set of pads, tore it up, um, but shed the hook. Just got its head in there, shook around, and just like fish do, don't know how they do it. Just got rid of the hook, ejected the hook. I've got the whole rig back and everything, but uh, I was fishless. Um, it didn't feel like uh, anything near as big as uh, as the first one, if that's any consolation. I suppose it's a little bit of a consolation. Um, but as for now, it's going to be getting dark soon. Um, I am going to um, put a little bit more bait in because I've got a feeling the fish have been feeding. And uh, if, the, uh, if the bites are anything to go by, I think that's the case. So um, I'm going to put a, a few more boilies out over both spots. Um, I've had a couple of liners on the right hand rod um, as well, um, one or two um, really savage ones like right up and down on the bobbin um, which makes me think that that rig probably has been dragged out of position and needs to be redone anyway so um, I'll do some bait first, I'm not going to put loads in, I I'm taking on board the advice from you guys, so just a couple of pouchfuls maybe over each spot, um, let things settle down um, and, then, uh, and then start getting ready hopefully for some more action. Okay, so that's some bait in the water, in the swim. I really have the sense that there are some fish around. I've even seen um, a couple of backs break the surface um, just out there on my, on my longer range spot. So uh, I'm really hoping uh, that one does the business again. Um, I may recast um, the rods, um, especially, or, or probably certainly that right hand rod um, because of those savage liners that I had um, after I lost that fish. Um, and uh, and then I guess I might as well freshen up the left hand one as well um, before I turn in for the night. Um, but it's probably not going to get dark for another 20-30 minutes so um, I've got time on my side um, in that regard. Um, so um, I'm going to leave the baits, the hook baits in place for now and just uh, wait and see because you never know. 
uh, in the meantime, I want to get some bits and pieces ready for, for my night on the bank. Um, I've travelled light today, I've got my brolly rather than my bivvy, um, got my bed chair in there. If I'm honest, it's a little bit cramped, um, this compact bivvy, uh, compact brolly, sorry. Um, I'm sort of wishing I'd brought the uh, brought the bivvy, if I'm honest, but uh, it'll do, it'll do, it'll keep me dry through the night. I've got the mozzie mesh on the front, because that's the only front that I've got for this thing. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll get some sleep, although sort of hopefully not, I suppose if it means I'm catching fish, uh, that'll be fine. Um, anyway, um, let's get some bits and pieces ready out of my bag here. Um, if you're interested, it's a uh, TF Gear um, Barrow bag, um, this one in the large size. Um, I've had it for years and it is certainly very well indeed. Um, really, uh, really stout, well-made piece of kit I've found anyway. Um, which I know can't. I know you can't say that for everything made by them. Um, and I and I know I've uh, I've seen some stuff that's not been quite so great. But these, um, they do the business for sure. And my rods too. My rods are also from TF Gear. They're Banshee uh, ten foot rods, and uh, I've I've got nothing but good things to say about them as well. So um, so that's good. Um, in here though, um, this pouch on the uh, left hand side, um, I've got my uh, bivy light. I suppose it's a brolly light more than a bivy light this time. It's the uh, Bridge Monkey bivy light, and um, that's what it looks like. Probably seen them before. Again, I've had this for years and years, and it's been serving me well. So I, long may it last. I'm going to be using that this evening. It attaches with a, a sort of magnetic strip. Um, the magnetic strip goes outside the brolly, obviously, and the device itself just um, attaches from the inside. And it's quite a strong magnet, so it works really well. Glass is steaming up again. Um, put that to one side, and uh, I've also got Ridge Monkey again. Um, yeah, um, because I read a, or I know actually I saw some uh, a guy on YouTube does some um, sort of honest tackle reviews, and he did a review of this, and and I really like the look of it, and he really couldn't sing its praises enough. So it's the uh, Ridge Monkey VRH 150 head torch. Um, it doesn't take batteries; it charges and it holds its charge for a long, long time. I get two or three sessions out of this thing. Um, and it's got a really decent, uh, a decent beam on it. Um, if you're if you're doing focus beam, and it's got two sort of flood, uh, two different uh, strengths of floodlight, I suppose floodlight, flood lighting. I don't know um, that you get as well. So um, yeah, again, I found this to be a very uh, versatile and good bit of kit. It's got an on-off button on both the top and the bottom. So if in the night you're scrambling, you put it on the wrong way up, it's not going to cause you too much trouble. Not great. You can probably hear that behind me. It's raining again, so uh, I'd better get uh, this and the bivy light sorted, um, and then take shelter for a little while before probably um, recasting both rods um, to the spots, just so that I can kick back as it gets dark um, with that confidence that I've got rigs fishing um, exactly as I want them to be. Bivy light up. <laughs> All right, last bit of gear talk because um, I know it's not for everyone, but um, in the bag here also, I've stuffed in uh, the last bit of kit that I'm going to show you for my night session, which is a um, ProLogic um, thermal suit and it's waterproof. And I'm probably going to be sleeping on top of the bed rather than in the bag because I just feel um, more ready that way. And this is almost like wearing a sleeping bag, lovely and toasty warm. And now's the time to get it on before it gets dark. So uh, let's get clobbered up and then I really will be ready for the night ahead.
final cup of tea before I turn in for the night. Pitch black out there now. Only early, it's only about half past eight, but uh, I think I'm going to finish this cup of tea and then uh, get my head down, see if I can catch some, catch 40 winks, get some sleep in and hope that I'm rudely awakened by a screaming bite alarm. We'll see. Well, I'm guessing this is going to be really tough to see, guys, because of the lighting situation. I've just got a couple of torches on the go. But half past ten at night, and the PVA bag rod rattled off again. And this 11 pound, 10 ounce mirror was the culprit. Brilliant. Show you the other side of her. Worth coming for an overnighter, most definitely. I'm gonna slip this beauty back and get back in the sack. Brilliant. Morning everyone. 6 a.m. Still pitch black out there. And uh, after a whole night of just bleep, 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 my uh, left hand rod, which is the solid PVA bag rig, again was away and I've just landed a fish, but it is not the target species. It is, unfortunately, a lovely slimy bream. Um, it's just sat there in the landing net now because I figured it's going to be getting light in the next 20 minutes. Uh, light enough for me to recast that rod anyway and uh, I'll show you what I've caught um, it's time for a strong cup of coffee whilst I wait for the sun to rise believe it or not that is daylight behind me and hopefully you can hear the birds all waking up uh, it's a dry morning, thank goodness, good for the pack down. I do have to be packed up and away quite early this morning, but it was light enough for me to recast that um, solid PVA bag rig. So uh, I'm fishing again. I've also um, redone the right hand rod, even though it's done absolutely nothing for me this session. You never know, um, it only takes a second to get a bite they say. So I've got two rods fishing and I've got probably probably an hour and a half before I need to be away so um, there's always a chance of another bite but uh, I'm going to slowly start packing stuff down. Before I do I'm going to show you that bream that I caught. There we go then guys, that's the culprit that kept me up most of the night. Oh, nearly lost him. A lovely slimy bream. Not a bad size this one actually, but not what I was fishing for. So I'm going to slip her back now, back to where she belongs.
well it's high time I was heading off if you've watched all the way through thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it um, two carp and one bream in a quick overnighter is not too bad it's about half past eight in the morning um, I've really got to get cracking now um, I've got an appointment to make and then maybe I'll get a little cat nap because I didn't get much sleep last night been absolutely brilliant to get out here I've really thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, I can't wait to get back out on the bank again um, for those who are watching out for my um, campaign on the quiet lake don't worry I haven't forgotten about that and I'm still working on it so um, hopefully I'll have some more to show you about that lake um, in the near future um, as for now thanks so much and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon